the city of Manaus, in the heart of the Brazilian Amazon. This is the only place in the world where the pied tamarind lives. Conservationists on the ground believe these tiny monkeys to be the most threatened primates in the Amazon rainforest. As the city expands, the pied tamarind or sanguinous bicolors being driven out of its natural habitat. Their survival hangs in the balance, and these tiny fragments of forest in and around the sprawling city, the only home it has left. You can just see what pristine forest we have here. It's glorious to be here, but the picture isn't the same everywhere for the pied tamarind. And we're going to go and see some areas in the city where the species just hangs on by the smallest of threads. Here we, we, we had a, a very uh, forested area which disappeared very quickly in one year this area in Man here in Manaus, it happens the same in Rio. The population is growing and, and fragmentation is being a very, very big problem for, for primates that got stuck in very small fragments. People are living here and destroying the forest. And we have, in this case, two groups of saguinus bicolor here trying to survive. And the pressure keeps mounting with the surge of economic developments, an unrelenting influx of people, and massive infrastructure projects under construction. The rapid pace of urban growth means the natural environments being neglected, and basic living conditions for humans and animals alike are being compromised. Where I'm stood here once was Brazilian rainforest, right in the heart of the Amazon. And so you're left with this situation where, as the city of Manaus is growing, it's almost like a, a concrete tidal wave that's engulfing the habitat for this tiny tamarind. And quite frankly, they are, they are only surviving because of the goodwill of the, the human neighbours. Some of the humans there will feed them bananas. And that's their lifeline. How long it will last, who knows? And I believe that one of the elements of managing the species in the wild is to work with the local people here so that they they care about these species and they realize that they they need the forests for their futures so do the so do the pied tamarinds but you know that's going to take time when we talk about conserve this fragment this forest the 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 forest here in Manaus we are not talking about the future of the pied tamarinds we are talking about the future of the people, of the child, the community, because when we talk about conserve the forest, we are talking about have a better place to live, have clean water, have fresh air. So we would like that people understand that we are talking about the future of everyone, not just about the pied tamarinds. The pied tamarinds are treasures. We need to conserve them, but we need that the people understand that they need to, to make part of this process of conservation because it's really important for them.